Hi and welcome to this tutorial about how to use Poplet. If you are here it's because I've asked you to come on here and take a look at what Poplet is all about and see how you might be able to use it for your collaborative projects. So here it is. Ta-da! Now if you take a look at it, super simple, super smart, super fun, oh super use of rhetoric. Please tell me what that is next time you see me. Okay so what you're gonna do when you get here is you're gonna log in and uh, or sign up if you don't have an account you're going to sign up for free I like free and you're going to be taken to this standard little sign in page and then when you do all of that you're going to get a thing that looks like this and says oh hey look at click this button to get started so of course you can do that what is poplet all about let's see let's make a new poplet oh to make a new poplet we're going to call this one test all right make it so see they're so clever they're just so clever okay so here we go it's much like Padlet in that you're gonna be given this blank slate and you can choose what kind of background color you want well let's do orange I like ooh. let's not do orange let's do pink that's better we like pink okay so what you're gonna do is you can create a poplet so you're just gonna double click and oh here there it goes there's my name and you can start writing a text. Um, I love teaching students. All right, so I love teaching students. That's it. Now what I can do is maybe I want to have a little brainstorm session as to why I love teaching students. And I can say they oops, inspire me. Uh, I can say that I like teaching students because, oh, you know what? You, they make me laugh and I can have a whole lot of different things that I might want to say about students now you can also add some uh, you can add some pictures you can so if I go over here they inspire me maybe I want to find an image maybe you want to have a picture from my computer or a YouTube video of how my students inspire me uh, maybe I want to upload something from Vimeo uh, or how do you pronounce that or even from Flickr so I can put that in there I can also change the color of my box here, so maybe I want to go with this one pink as well, because, oh, that's pretty, you inspire me, it's pretty and pink, yay! And you can carry on with that. Now, you don't even, you don't have to, uh, let's say that I've, I've made this poplet over here, but I want to also connect it over here, because they make me laugh and they inspire me, maybe those are like very similar ideas. So I can drag this over here, and wait till I see the thing that says drag to link or make new poplet, boink! And there it is, now they all connect. Um, and so this is a really helpful tool for when you're brainstorming. So let's say that, you know, one of you is over here and you have something over here that you put a new idea and somebody over here says a new idea and somebody says, hey, but you know what? I can link these two. I'm going to link these two ideas together. Boink. And so you do that. And you start seeing how you all interconnect and all of your ideas. And then you can make this bigger and just by scrolling up and down. It's kind of cool. Now, the next thing you need to do is take a look about how we're going to share this, okay? Because I'm going to be asking you to collaborate. So add collaborator. So here, please enter the name or the email address of who you want to invite and start working on a Padlet wall together. This way, you, you can do your project management just from here. I'm going to cancel that. You can do your project management from here, and everybody can have a go on here and collaborate and add ideas and expound ideas, uh, add some pictures. You can add video. I've already said that. And you can just do a whole lot. I hope that you find this to be a very useful tool for you in our, in our processes, and uh, I will talk to you soon. Okay, have a good day. Bye-bye.